Thank you to everyone that made my mystery box a success. It was a lot of fun. I'm going to do one of my most requested videos. This video is requested by a lot of you guys. Y'all all want to know what it is about the cellophane that's on the VHS covers, that's on the comic covers, that's on the, the music album covers. Y'all all want to know why exactly I preach that you have to take the cellophane off. So today I'm going to show you why we have to do that right after I'm done with this game of skee ball. I love this thing. I just recently got in my vision. I know that it's late. I know you want to know what's in this bag, but I'm not showing you just yet. Not just yet. Not not yet. I have recently got in this vision. So this is just going to be a good one to show you because I'll get the cellophane off while we're talking about this. Let's, let's talk about the Superman first. So the Superman was the first one that I got my hands on, and I also believe that this is the first one that was ever released by Funko. You didn't know this at first, or I didn't know this at first, and I don't think most of us realize this as collectors. We like to preserve things. We like to leave cellophane on. We like to buy protectors. We like to do all of that stuff to preserve our collection. I'm no different. So my thoughts of this was I would leave the cellophane on, the cellophane would protect it, and, and it would go from there. Now, that's that's let's not even talk about all the flaws the box has, because I could go over the flaws the box has for days, like how it is bowed everywhere, it is creased, the moisture has wrecked it because it doesn't have the plastic window supports in there to hold the box together. So let's not even talk about like the box itself. Let's let's skip that conversation altogether, and let's just talk about the flaw that from made here. So in this one they did get the screws, the, the holes in here. Now a lot of them very early on in the albums did not get the holes in there right back here, right? As, as you can see they, they got the holes in there. If you did not take the cellophane off, you noticed like this one that it was very muggy, it was very dark, and you and you really didn't understand why because cellophane is clear, right? There are some breathing holes right up top. You see the, the breathing holes right up top there. You have to get these opened up to release the moisture that might be building up inside of these. And I know that you think, well, there's no moisture in my house. There's no moisture in my collection room. There's no moisture, anything like that happening. I going to challenge you otherwise, right? It's cardboard and cardboard draws moisture to it. So every time it rains, every time you cook something in your house, every time you do something that causes humidity, you're going to have moisture in the air and your cardboard and your collectibles is going to get hit the hardest case in point. <laughs> If you'll notice that that cardboard right there took a wicked bow, a wicked bow, because I did not pop the cellophane off of this. I left the cellophane on this one for a long time. All of them that I have taken the cellophane off, I should prop. Let me grab a couple of more examples real quick. So let me grab the OG, I have the OG album cover and this one has, this box has flaws for days. Now on this one I immediately took the cellophane off because there was something going on with the cellophane that I didn't like already. So I immediately took the cellophane off of it so that I could get a little bit of a better look at it. And you'll notice that the cardboard took no bowing, no bending, none of that happened in this cardboard. And this is, yes, this one is the original. They've recently started recycling these back out in the stores. You can see these now starting to hit the shelves again. I think it's garbage, but I can kind of tell you how to tell the originals from the old ones if I remember correctly now but as you'll notice 
that cardboard is perfectly straight and that's because I got the cellophane off so that those breathing holes could breathe and they could release any moisture that might have been getting trapped inside of that and you could also see that it's super clear it doesn't have this hazy look going on that my vision has going on so let's 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 get that one off of the vision and, and let me get this back in the sleeve now the one thing I don't like about taking the album covers out of these sleeves is they're really hard to get back into these sleeves when I say really hard I mean like it's it's almost impossible to, to get them back into these sleeves they were designed really poorly to the begin with and that's a whole different conversation for a whole nother day I mean I, I could I could go on a whole nother conversation about that and if that's something that you would like me to go on a conversation about just throw a comment down below maybe that's something that we want to talk about coming up in here into the future we all know that that Funko is still struggling a little bit with their pricing and their stock and and all of that is, is still on a little bit of a struggle right now and all of the channels are talking about it we're not going to talk about that beating on a dead horse anymore we're going to move on and just talk about why you should take the cellophane off of these now if you'll see the batman has it completely off of that because i know that's what you were thinking you were like well comparing the album to the the comic covers is really not the same i 100 percent agree with you it's really not the same but i'll show you one of the original batmans that i actually took the cellophane off of and you'll notice that the cardboard took no bowing in it whatsoever you have to let all of these holes breathe to get that moisture out let's pop him back in real quick and then i'm going to get this vision completely out because i need to get this vision done before it warps and i just i haven't done it i don't even know that i honestly made a video on this vision if you like these album covers and comic covers throw a comment down below get in the conversation with me i love having conversations with you with you guys so just throw a comment down below sometimes these things are really hard to get out of the box and you have to open them from both ends listen to me just open it from both ends get you some kind of a, a butter knife that you can get up under there apply a little bit of a pressure to it and just open it from both ends that way you don't damage your box or tear it i say damage the box but to be honest with you these boxes are kind of garbage they're they've they're kind of already damaged to begin with so I don't know exactly how much damage you could do now you'll see in the cellophane the one thing they didn't do is they didn't put any holes in it now maybe you could get away with just kind of popping where the holes are popping holes in the cellophane itself maybe you could get away with that maybe not so 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 that I don't take the risk I go ahead and take it completely off these target stickers come right off now walmart on the other hand are not coming right off walmart started making their stickers out of paper again so if you're having a problem with your walmart stickers that are stuck to the cellophane i'm going to tell you in advance that you're not going to be able to get those off there's no amount of knives no amount of prying no amount of nothing it's just going to tear and rip and it's going to disappoint you and you're going to be pissed off so just simply save yourself the trouble and don't do it i'm going to put that right back on there let's take a closer look now that it's off and as you'll see now that it's off all of these holes you're able to bring breathe it, it doesn't have any problems it's in great shape at this moment I don't see any problems with the cardboard thank God because I know that it was on there for quite a while before I I, I decided that I, we were gonna do this video like I said this was one of the most requested videos guys I truly appreciate you for coming and hanging out with me and if there's anything ever at all that you would like to discuss just throw it in the comments as a video that maybe you would like to see from me and who knows maybe I'll make it I truly appreciate you guys I'll catch you next time Man, I still got a lot of work to do in this studio. Still got a lot of work to do in this studio. I love these album covers, though, man. They are so much fun. Have a good one. I'll catch you next time. Oh, hold on. Before we get out of here, I got to show you something. I got to show you this out. Check this out. Check this out. <laughs> this is going to be my Michael Jordan as the Burger King. <laughs> I appreciate you. Have a good one.